Coming up next, it's a flyweight matchup between Justin Scoggins and Ray Borg. All right, so here's the flyweight contender, Ray Borg, now training out of Jackson Wink MMA in Albuquerque, New Mexico, the longtime pupil of Tom Vaughn, now training under Brandon Gibson, Mike Winklejohn, Greg Jackson. And we've already seen significant strides made in the striking game of Ray Borg. No denying the grappling, Joe. This man can wrestle, he can scramble. Some of the best transitions and back-taking, not just in this flyweight division, but across mixed martial arts. Ray Borg, a real factor at 125 pounds. This guy has thunderous kicking power amongst the scariest kickers in the world of mixed martial arts, and his opponent has to be keenly aware of that danger. All right, so here he is, a very accomplished striker, finally making the walk to the octagon tonight. Got to think he'll be interested, of course, in keeping this fight standing in his wheelhouse. And he's got the takedown defense to keep this fight where he wants it. No doubt he'll be looking to put on a striking clinic here tonight. This guy is a great striker. What he wants to do is land hard and early, get the respect of his opponent, and avoid any grappling exchanges. Tail the tape for this flyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 11 wins, three losses. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Ray, the Taz Mexican Devil. Oh! And now he's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a karate fighter, holding a professional record of 11 wins, four losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting at a Spartanburg, South Carolina, Justin Tank Scoggins! And with the action again, the in charge, Herb Dean. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. You ready to fight? Ready. Well, it's one of the loudest venues in all the mixed martial arts as we get underway here at the Bell Center in Montreal. If you're fighting a guy like Justin Scoggins, I gotta imagine, not that easy finding a guy who can simulate what he does in it. He stuffed that one. All right, first round is underway. You better watch out for the overhands. They will come early. They will come often here tonight. And even when you do your homework, it doesn't mean you can stop it. We'll see if he can get off to a good start here tonight. Going for the single leg now. Well, the wisdom coming in was that he'd want to get this fight to the ground. That'll help. Early takedown is good. It looks like he's looking for the arm triangle. It looks like he's got that arm triangle locked in tight. Scoots his hips back, sprawls. This arm triangle looks very tight. He may have to tap. Oh and my God! Is. Great job, didn't waste any time, took this fight to the ground and got the early submission. Yeah, Joe, we could barely get the fight clock sponsor out of the submission comes here in round one. He said he didn't want to waste a lot of time. He knew his opponent would know what was coming. It was going to be takedown attempts in bunches, but he couldn't stop the early shot, and, and he certainly couldn't stop the submission. So great effort and even better technique here tonight. And one more time. Nice technique here on this submission. So a seminal moment for him here tonight, Joe Rogan, as he gets the win by way of submission. Certainly one of the bigger wins of his career and as big a statement as he could have made here tonight. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 33 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke, Ray, the Chaz Mexican Devil! So there he is, your winner by way of submission. And candidly, Joe, I'm not sure this night could have gone any better. He did have some doubters coming in. He said, I gotta mute those naysayers. And they're not gonna keep quiet unless I can actually get this guy out of there. So mission accomplished. No judges necessary tonight. He gets the submission. And now all that's left is to celebrate with his coaches and training partners. What a moment for this oncoming fighter here tonight.